Our world is filled with human-made miracles. Civil engineering projects range from the highest to the longest in the world. Every one of them has been built with a specific purpose in mind, whether it is for luxury, defense, or transportation. Engineering has advanced greatly to produce these wonders. The following projects rank among the largest and most challenging ones, and they never cease to astound and motivate younger people. Great Walls of China The longest wall in the world is the Great Wall of China. Its construction used wood, tamped dirt, stone, brick, and other elements. With a height of 5 to 8 meters, 16 to 26 feet, it stretches across China for about 21,196 kilometers from east to west. More than 2,300 years have passed since the construction of the Great Wall of China. It was constructed to defend the Chinese states and empires from the numerous Eurasian steppe nomadic groups' assaults and incursions. Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid stands 3,800 years tall and is the highest man-made building in history. The 2.3 million stone blocks that make up this edifice range in weight from 2 to 30 tones each, with some even weighing more than 50 tones. Inside the Great Pyramid, there are three known chambers, the King's Chamber, the Queen's Chamber, and the one that is cut into the bedrock. Casing stones, which were formed of highly polished limestone, serve as their original covering. The casing stones made the pyramid glow by reflecting the sun's rays. The method of construction of the pyramids remains a mystery. The most likely scenario is that the Egyptians built a sloping, enclosing embankment out of brick earth and sand that was lengthened and increased in height. Brooklyn Bridge One of the oldest road bridges in the United States is the Brooklyn Bridge, a hybrid cable stayed suspension bridge in New York City. It crosses the East River to link the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn. It's 1,595.5 foot, 486.3 meter, primary span makes it the first steel wire suspension bridge ever built. The Brooklyn Bridge, a masterpiece by John Augustus Roebling that was completed by his son Washington Roebling, was constructed from 1869 to 1883. The two towers of the bridge were constructed by first constructing the stone towers on top of two caissons, enormous upside-down boxes made of southern yellow pine, which were floated in the East River span. Workers entered the area to excavate the sediment as compressed air was poured into the caissons until they sunk to the bedrock. Panama Canal The 51-mile, 82-kilometers, long Panama Canal, one of the biggest and most challenging engineering projects ever, is located in Panama. It links the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, enabling ships to bypass Cape Horn and travels 9,000 miles, 15,000 kilometers, between North and South America instead of through the natural waterways. Gravity was used by the culverts built inside the locks to raise and reduce the water levels. At the end of the canal route's three locks, ships were raised 85 feet above sea level to the artificial Gatton Lake in the center. The entire business was controlled by a control board and run on electricity. Burj Khalifa, Dubai Tower With a height of 829.8 meters, 2,722 feet, the Burj Khalifa has held the title of the world's tallest building. The Dubai Tower is the focal point of a bigger complex that also has offices, shops, and housing. The Burj Khalifa's exterior was finished in 2009, five years after outside construction started in 2004. Constructed primarily of reinforced concrete, to assure the stability of the structure, 211,200 tons of concrete were poured, and more than 145 concrete piles were buried at depths greater than 72 meters, 236 feet. The foundation was built to withstand roughly 450,000 tons of building weight. English Channel Tunnel The rail tunnel connecting England and France that passes beneath the English Channel is known as the English Channel Tunnel or Eurotunnel. Construction began in 1988, and it was completed in 1994. The Channel Tunnel is 250 feet, 76 meters, deep and 31 miles, 50 kilometers, long. Its 23.5-mile underwater section is the longest of any tunnel in the world. Three tunnels make up the structure. Two are for rail traffic, while the third is for services and security. Traveling the entire length of the Channel Tunnel takes about 35 minutes. Hoover Dam, on the border between Arizona and Nevada, in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, stands the concrete arch-gravity Hoover Dam. It is the highest concrete arch dam in the U.S. and was built between 1930 and 1936. It impounds Lake Mead, one of the biggest man-made lakes in the world that stretches 115 miles, 
185 kilometers upstream. 3,360,000 cubic meters of concrete are present. Aqueduct of Sibogia. The 24,000 pieces of dark Gadarama granite that make up the Segovia Aqueduct are assembled without the aid of mortar. From the river, it transports water 11 miles, 17 kilometers, to Segovia, Spain. The aqueduct's first portion is made up of 36 semicircular arches. There are two levels to the line of arches, which hold the frame and support the building. The arches are 5.1 meters, 16.1 feet, broad on the upper level. The upper pillars, which were constructed in two levels, are both shorter and narrower than those on the lower level. The water channel is located at the top of the construction. Qingdao Haiwan Bridge The longest bridge over water in the world is the Qingdao Haiwan Bridge. The bridge is 42.5 kilometers long, over 26 kilometers which are immediately above the water. It is in China and made of 3 million cubic yards of concrete and 450,000 tons of steel. A tunnel built 81 meters below sea level runs underneath the bridge. The tunnel measures 9.47 kilometers in length. Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge, the most stunning bridge in the world, spans San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean with a suspension bridge, a bridge supported by overhead cables above its roadway. The bridge is also a feat of engineering, with towers rising 746 feet into the air and extending more than 100 feet beneath the bay. On each side of the bridge, the cables are positioned horizontally between two enormous concrete blocks. Suspender ropes, which are also vertical cables, connect the main cable to the bridge's deck or roadway. When a car pushes down the road, the suspender ropes transfer that load to the main cables, which then transfer it to the towers, which are responsible for supporting the majority of the weight. 